Sentinel tetras have a red stripe that extends the full length of their body from nose to tail, while neon tetras only have red coloring on the posterior half of their body. Telling males and females apart in cardinal tetras can be tricky, but there are a few reliable signs you can use. Males are typically more slender and streamlined. They have a slightly more pointed anal fin. During breeding condition, males may show more intense coloration. Their swim bladder, visible as a silver area, appears more pointed. Females have a rounder, fuller belly, especially when carrying eggs. Their anal fin is more rounded. The swim bladder appears more rounded when viewed from the side. They're generally slightly larger than males. Now for the exciting part, setting up our breeding environment. We'll need a separate breeding tank, ideally 10 to 15 gallons. For breeding box construction, we're creating a breeding box using a plastic container with mesh at the bottom. This mesh serves a crucial purpose. It allows the eggs to fall through while preventing the parents from eating them. Water parameters should be temperature 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 to 28 degrees Celsius, pH 5.0 to 6.0, which is very acidic, just like their natural black water habitat. Everything you saw today was just a simulation, my way of planning and learning the full cardinal tetra breeding process before actually doing it. If you'd like to see me try it for real, let me know in the comments by writing part two. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and giving it a like. It really helps Mika and I continue to create more content for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.